some beautiful play of commas here originating this is extra information don't worry about it originating from a small gland near their tails so this entire stuff is a modifying phrase this will refer to the stuff that comes after it after the comma so what is originating must come so a waxy oily substance this makes sense until here no problem as such is produced by seabirds no problem until here also but then that is used what is that referring to here the noun that comes just before it so it's sounding as if seabirds is used which doesn't make sense it is the waxy oily substance that is used so a can be eliminated in this case you have a that here but before that you have a comma here so this that is not going to refer to the noun before the comma this is going to refer to the noun before the other comma so that they use as in seabirds produce a waxy oily substance and this substance is what they use they is referring to seabirds so this substance is what the seabirds use as a preening and waterproofing agent makes sense b looks good this should stay choice c has two problems a more tangible problem is the pronoun this here it's not clear what this is referring to it can refer to the substance it can also refer to the gland and maybe something else also that's one easy to identify error another subtle error here is this usage comma and giving it the treatment of two independent clauses the information is not logically independent and although this is not a deal breaker this makes this answer choice weak remember comma and is equivalent to a semicolon which is used for joining two independent clauses so although this is not a deal breaker this is a demerit in the sentence and then this pronoun error is anyway there so c can be comfortably eliminated look at choice d this has the same problem compounded you see from here to here this is not an independent information so you cannot have a semicolon here that's easy to eliminate answer choice e commits a very silly mistake believed to originate from a small gland near their tails this is a modifying phrase it will refer to the noun that comes after the comma and the noun we have here is seabirds so it's sounding as if seabirds are originating from a small gland near their own tails which doesn't make any sense so e should be the easiest to eliminate let's look at answer choice b once confirm it seabirds produce such and such substance and from here to here is extra information which makes sense that this substance is believed to originate somewhere the main meaning is seabirds produce a waxy oily substance that they use they as in seabirds use as a preening and waterproofing agent another subtle observation here is you see they use they use is superior to the usage is used it's not that anybody can use it so is used is inferior to they use that's another reason why choices e and a are inferior gmat will not make you eliminate answer choices based on such subtleties but if you have such eye for detail it will help you in identifying the weaker answer choices b is the best answer choice a very interesting question there's a lot to be learned from this one one concept on which i would want to emphasize here is this usage of that preceded by a comma remember when that is preceded by a comma it's a very rare usage and when it happens that does not refer to the noun immediately before it, it refers to the noun before the second last comma so substance is what that is referring to here also that you see is referring to the noun that is just before it here also it will refer to the noun that is just before it but when it is preceded by a comma it refers to the noun that is before the other comma b is the best answer choice